right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and don't forget to download the video and share it as soon as we finish. Uh, yesterday we made a video about Muhammad being not being from Ishmael, and we proved that. However, today one of you sent me uh, an image from a Muslim a hadith, and the hadith is uh, as we will see in the screen, saying the following. And for sure, I know this hadith. But, you know, when we made the video, we are saying where even Allah, the God of Muhammad, did not say that Muhammad from Ishmael. However, as long Muhammad himself, he claimed to be from Ishmael, as we see in the front of us in the hadith. And as long one of you asked me today, how, what is the fastest way to prove Muhammad to be a false prophet in five minutes? Not to spend the whole day to prove it. So I said to myself, let us use this one to get Muhammad busted, shall we? So... Let us start counting five minutes. Let me open my Google. Okay, Google, set alarm after five minutes. Bingo. Now let us go and do it. <laughs> so when Muhammad, he said in this hadith, and supposedly this is Sahih hadith, that Allah, he indeed chosen Kinana from the children of Ishmael. First of all, how Kinana became from the children of Ishmael, we have no idea. Secondly, if Kinana is from the children of Ishmael <coughs> and Muhammad saying so, how come the Quran never say very simple statement? And I will tell you what the statement. If we go right now in the Quran, we will find the Quran saying millions of times. <coughs> I mean, let's say hundreds of times. O oh, children of Israel. Children of Israel. Children of Israel, children of Israel, how come Muhammad, God, never said to Muhammad and his people, all children of Ishmael? You know what I mean? The God of Muhammad himself, he never said to Muhammad, children of Ishmael. But as you see, Allah never stopped saying children of Israel. But be between the Jews in the time of Muhammad and between Israel, there is a long period of time. And Israel is the first descendant, I mean, the, the direct descendant, you know, from uh, 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 from Abraham. So if if the if the if the Jews in the time of Muhammad being called children of Israel, shouldn't Muhammad and the Arab in the time of Muhammad should be called the children of Ishmael in the Quran? This is number one. However, this is not my topic. My topic is how to get Muhammad busted with his lies claiming to be a prophet, not about his lie to be from Ishmael. Here, what look at what Muhammad said. He said that the best of mankind is chosen by Allah. Who are they? He chose Kinana from the children of Ishmael. Allah Hustafa Kinana, he chose Kinana from all mankind. And then he chose from Kinana from the children of Ishmael. And he chose Quraysh from Kinana. And then he chose Hashem, which is the tribe of Muhammad, from Quraysh. And then he chose him from Bani Quraysh. But look, the Quran confirmed that Allah, he chose only the Jews. <clears throat> Let us go there. He chose who? Only the Jews. So Muhammad here, he got himself busted. Chapter 2, verse number 47. It says, and many other verses, by the way, not only one. O children of Israel, remember my favor which I bestowed upon you, that I preferred you to all mankind and jinn. He did not choose the children of Ishmael. He chose them upon all mankind with no exception. Who are they? Those are not children of Abraham. Those are the children of Israel specifically. And here Muhammad again, he got himself busted. But it's still, it's not my topic. Just look how many, look how many times we get him busted. We did not even start the topic, which we suppose finish in five minutes. Muhammad to be a false prophet. Look, the Quran said, if Muhammad fabricated this Quran, you know, the, the Arab, they accuse Muhammad to be a fabricator. So Muhammad, he gave them this verse. He says, they say that Muhammad fabricated the Quran. 
Nay, the truth from your Lord, that you are, you may warn people whom no warner has come before you, Muhammad, to them. No what? No warner. Which means, before Muhammad, nobody came to the people of Muhammad, which is the Arab, except Muhammad. But hold on. Isn't it the Quran said that Allah, he sent Abraham and Ishmael. And in chapter 14, verse number 37, we see Ishmael, uh, uh, sorry, Abraham asking Allah to feed. Oh, we passed the five minutes, sorry. But because we are pro proving many things. So here the, the verse saying that Abraham asked Allah to give fruits and food to his family who he put them supposedly in the desert. And the verse doesn't say, by the way, Mecca, but the Muslim believe that this is Mecca, as you see in the translation. So Abraham, he was there. And even the from verse saying that even Abraham and Ishmael is the one who built the, the, the Kaaba. So Ishmael, he built the Kaaba with his father. And Ishmael and his father was the first founders and they are the first warners to people of Mecca. So how Muhammad was the first warner to Mecca? The Muslim, they will say to you, oh, oh, uh, Muhammad is the first warner to his people. But remember, it is you Muslims who came to us with this hadith saying that Allah favor Kinana and from Kinana, they are from the children of Ishmael and from the children of Ishmael, he chose Hashem and then he chose it from Hashem Quraysh and then from Quraysh he chose Muhammad, Bani Hashem, sorry. So here what you are saying that Muhammad is from Ishmael and he is from the people of Ishmael. So when the Quran says there's no warner come before Muhammad to the people of Ishmael and then we find that Ishmael himself was the first warner. That's meaning clearly that Muhammad cannot be from Ishmael and Muhammad cannot be a prophet in the same time. Is my idea clear? If those are children of Ishmael and Ishmael was in the Kaaba, not only he was in the Kaaba, he was the builder of the Kaaba with his father Abraham as the Quran claim. As you see, this is a chapter 2, verse 127. And Abraham, he warned the people at that time about Allah. And then after him, Ishmael, he have his family settled there. And even he married from an Arab woman, according to the Muslims. So those are the children of Ishmael, according to the Islamic cult. And Muhammad himself, he confirmed that. And he say, those are the children of Ishmael. And all those tribes are Arabian tribes from Ishmael. So how no war nor came. To the Arabian tribes of Ishmael before Muhammad if Muhammad is from the same tribe and as you see the Quran calling the children of Israel children of Israel even in the time of Muhammad but yet he never called any of those tribes so they are Arab children of Ishmael and not only that if you go in the Quran, chapter 29, verse 27, it says that Allah, he chose that from the seed of Isaac and Jacob will be the prophethood. And that is confirmed why Allah, he said that Allah, he favored the children of Israel upon all mankind. <clears throat> Are you getting my point? So we got Muhammad busted. The one we, we are favored is the children of Israel. How he favored them? By making from them the prophets. Otherwise, what, what, what favors will be? Do you see it? Oh, children of Israel, remember my favor which I bestowed upon you. And that confirmed again in the same Quran, saying it clearly that I favor you and I choose you upon all mankind. So Ishmael is not in the image, 
because if Allah favor Ishmael and Allah favor Bani Israel, that's mean here this is a lie. You see, the children of Israel are not the children of Ishmael. We, we understand that, right? He is not saying the children of Abraham. He is saying the children of Israel specifically. Remember my favor. So Muhammad, for sure, he is a false prophet. And when he said that he is no warner came before him to warn the Arab, yet he claimed that the Arab are descended from Ishmael and from Abraham. And not only that, he, he claimed that Abraham and Ishmael both they live in the in the in, in Mecca and they are actually they are the one who built the Kaaba. So how he can be the first warner? Muhammad obviously is a false prophet. From his words, we got him busted. Sorry, it took me more than five minutes because we have many ideas. We show, uh, it's not only proving Muhammad to be a false prophet, but we prove that Israel is the one who been chosen, and this is confirmed the Bible. And proving Muhammad to be a false prophet because he claimed that Allah he chose from 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 and those are all Arab. When the fact the Quran says that Allah favor only the children of Israel, specifically, no one else, and this is in the Quran. Same chapter 5 verse number 21 where Allah he says to them remember my favor upon you I chose you from all mankind and then he gave them the land enter the holy land which Allah is assigned to you Muhammad is a false prophet and there's no question about that Feel free to download the video and share it with your friends and if you are a Muslim You know ask yourself what kind of a prophet he cannot be consistent even with one lies he say tomorrow and he lie something about you know like he the same story he repeated but it does not make sense because what he said yesterday contradict what he said tomorrow I remember the Quran your book says why they cannot uh, you know uh, manage the Quran if this book is not from Allah this book will find a lot of contradiction in it and this is the contradiction when Muhammad he say he is the first warner that's mean no one was sent as a warner for the Arab before him. Very clear. And remember too that the Quran says in different verse because the Muslim they might start saying, "Oh, he's talking about the tribe of Muhammad." Shut up. What tribe of Muhammad? Here we go. Name for me. You see, Allah saying the children of Israel. So he go back all the way to Israel. So if Israel was a warner, we cannot say that children of Israel who, who, who lived in different territory where Israel live, they are not having a warner. Is that correct, guys? You know what I mean? If the children of Israel, they have a warner, his name is Israel. But remember, after Israel, there's many prophets. He's not the only one. Correct? But yet the Quran confirmed that they are the children of Israel and Israel is the warner for them. Same will go to the children of Ishmael. If Muhammad is from Ishmael, whoever come after Ishmael from his children, then they have a warner from the previous generations because Ishmael is their father. Same for Abraham. Abraham is the father of all. So when you say there is no warner came to them before, so why you claim to be from Abraham? <laughs> so who is Abraham? You forgot who is Abraham? If Abraham is the father of the Arab, as you claim, and he is a warner. He is a prophet. He is not just a journalist. So how do you say there's no warner came before you to them? And remember that Muhammad made it clear that Allah, he never sent a messenger unless he speak in the tongue of his people. Which means if Ishmael, he live in Mecca and he was speaking the language of Mecca and if Ishmael was the father of the Arab so how come Ishmael is not the warner of the Arab unless you are saying to me the Arab were not speaking Arabic <laughs> you know what I mean like the Arab at that time were speaking Japanese so we sent not a messenger except in the language of his people so Ishmael was sent to the to, to, to the Kaaba, built the Kaaba, and then he warned his people. And the Arab are the children of Ishmael, according to Muhammad, not according to me. As you see. And the children they will speak the language of their father. 
This is how easy to get Muhammad busted and to show that he is nothing but a liar. And by the way, here, the Muslim, they say that, uh, uh, like they say to you, the, the children of Israel, they, 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 they believe they are the chosen one. This is racism. First of all, this is appear in the Quran many times that Allah, he favored the Jews upon all mankind and specifically the children of, Is of Israel. Secondly, your prophet, he chose the same thing and he claimed the same thing. Number three, Allah, he said the same thing in chapter three, verse 110. That Allah he favored the Muslims upon all mankind. This is why he ordered the Muslims to bring a human being and the chains around their neck. If you remember the hadith. And as you see, we are just using your own propaganda to defeat your propaganda. The fascist Muhammad. And the teaching of Muhammad exposing Muhammad not me thank you very much for being here download the video share it with your friends and get Muhammad busted as always we do Christ is Lord Islam is false and if you are a Muslim who have knowledge feel free to call me when I am live on air prove me wrong we welcome all those who call themselves Sheikh all of them with no exception I don't care who what's your name I don't care how big how strong how weak you are give me a call when I'm live and air and get me busted if you can and let us see how long you will stay a Muslim after you debate me Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again